God, my back hurts. All right. All right, hit the intro. Hey guys, how's it going? In this video, we're going to be looking at the Type F3 Cube. Now, if you watched my Xing Xiao 4x4 version 3 review, you will know that I haven't made a cube um I haven't made a cube review on the Type F3 because my personal Type F3 was crap and I couldn't like I lubricated it, stickered it with Cube Smith stickers, but I just couldn't get the freaking tensions right because I couldn't pop up the cap no matter what tools I used. So in, instead of trying, because I tried it for like a few months already, but instead of just keep trying, you know, I was a wimp, you know, yeah, I was a wimp, and I gave up, I just did everything to another one. So this is another cube. This is a whole nother cube, so yeah, this one is not crap at all, because that one was just complete other crap, utter crap, and I don't even know what to do with that one. So... The packaging on the Type F3, this box is more beat up, but you'll know how it looks like. This is the box. It's like any other Type F box. Like the Type F1 was the same box design as this one. It's just that all three were different color. Type F1 was a blue box, Type F2 was a black box, and Type F3 is a green box. Now, as you can see, it's just 3x3 three three all over the place. It's Chinese, which was... Um, Translating to English onto this side, and this description is actually pretty interesting. There's a Sheng N dot C N as the website. Sheng N is the Type F's Chinese pinyin name. Here's the you know logo and everything, and this is his face, the Type F owner. The Type F owner, I've actually talked to him, is pretty nice person and hologram, hologram, just like any other Type F product. Now going to the cube itself, as you see, I have cube Smith stickers on here. And one thing that I would like to tell everyone who use CubeSmith stickers is that you don't have to use Type F stickers for for these because these are, are this cube is bigger, so the pieces are bigger. So as you can see, these are regular CubeSmith stickers that fit on here. And the centerpiece is actually has this new design. If I can get the angle right, as you can see, that's the new design. And the center cap is the exact same size as the. Cubesmith sticker, so that part's a little bit tricky, but it gets you a perfect fit. Now, onto the cube itself. Actually, before I go on to that, I want to tell you that, um, so these shades aren't the ones it comes with. The shades that the Type F3 does come with are very distinguishable, more, not really dull, but just very solid colors. Now, this, these are Cubesmith stickers, so of course the, the shades are going to be better. Now, going onto the cube itself for real. The cube itself, to my to my surprise, was the first time I, you know, if you guys remember my Type F3 comp contest, the f when I first felt the white one, when I first felt the prototype, I thought immediately, this is not a good cube. And my statement and judgment on that cube wasn't fair because... I just was, I was expecting a Type F3 cube, because if you probably noticed, the turning, it sounds and feels like nothing at all compared to the other Type F um, Type F products. Now, a lot of people call the Type F products turning, feels bubbly, and I don't, I don't really agree with that. I don't think it's bubbly, cause, mostly because I don't know how bubbly feels like, but I like to call it buttery. Because it feels like it's just turning on this buttery substance because it's so amazingly good feeling smoothness. And this cube is totally different. It's clicky. Now, it's not crispy like Alpha Cubes because Alpha Cubes have that very fresh and crisp feel. This one is a clicky. So it's very smooth feeling. And then once in a while, there's these like in between. Very clicky and faint clicky. So in between, uh, let's say average clicky and faint clicky. So it's a totally different feel. It's, and this cube is very cubic. I mean, when you hold it, it's like, it, this is a square. This is absolutely a cube. Because when you first hold it, just when you first put it in your hands, 
you will probably already notice that it's probably going to be different from the past two type F3 cubes, or well, type F cubes, because it's more square because the other cubes are more um, round and they have because of their roundness their pieces are smaller not really smaller but has less flat surface area but you will notice that right away and these holes are bigger which is kind of like the fashion for speed cubes these days now the first thing you'll notice when you actually turn when before you turn it and you just hold it is that it's a very, 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 very sturdy cube. And not only is it sturdy, but it feels hollow. But it isn't hollow. The hollowness is not... when Now when I think of hollow, I think of the Alpha CC. But it's not hollow at all. It's If I show you the inside, it's very, very similar to the Rubik's Cube, actually. So, um yeah, so when you hold it, it's like a very sturdy cube. And just it feels hollow, but it's just sturdy, and you know that it, you know, it's very durable. Now let me just go into the actual piece itself. This is the piece itself. Very normal. As you can see, the stock on here is like any other type of uh, edge stock. And this side is sealed, but this side is hollow, and you see these tabs. Now I just want to warn everybody. Doesn't matter if you're my customer or not. I just want to warn you that. These tabs on this hollow side are very dangerous. When you first get the cube, it's going to be very stiff. So then, when you you know try to pull out the edge piece, you're going to have to use a lot of strength. And when you because you use a lot of strength, you might scratch your thumb on this. And when you scratch it, that's the end of your thumb. I the first time I did a Lubix cube care service on this one, and I got scraped by this. My thumb was cut and like un I couldn't. I was unable to use it for quite a while so this is very dangerous so be sure when you when you put your thumb under there if it's a hollow side just go to the next one go to the next one which which is sealed like I'm just gonna feel around see this one is hollow side but mine is on a loose tension so it's okay my see like when you feel a loose like a sealed side it's this side and that's this side doesn't have a tab so that's good for your finger now actually going into the piece itself, that was the stock. Looking at the corner piece, it's the exact same as a Rubik's Cube. Or at least I like to think so. And the the um yeah, the core is just like any other type of core. Is that like sort of like whitish green? So that's the inside pieces. And it just feels nothing like type F cubes. So if you didn't like the type F feeling for their cubes which was very like uncommon but if you actually are one of the people who don't like it this is probably the cube for you now cutting cutting is in between 1 QB and 45 degrees so it would be right here and it cuts that like with no problem which is probably the best cutting for any type of cubes so far and the locking happens very very it's very uncommon that you'll get a lock but when you get a lock it's actually caused by the tabs i think because it catches on like the side of the the edge piece like right here so yeah that's how the locks happen but they have been so less that you probably won't even notice and the pops so far i haven't got a pop because these cubes you know as you saw the edge piece stock is very um it grabs very strongly onto the center piece itself and the edge piece is practically the same as Rubik's cubes and then everybody know that Rubik's cubes don't pop. So that's it for the speed cubing uh, capabilities, you know, the stats, all the good stuff. Let's see if I can get like a like a fast one on my left hand because my left hand sucks. I'm a right hand person. But uh, yeah, so this cube is definitely something um it's definitely something. So is it worth getting? I think a lot of people are hesitant about getting this Type F3 cube because it wasn't because a lot of, when the Type F3 and Type F1 came out, people's immediate reaction after they feel it is like, "Dang, man, this is a freaking good." You know, just that sounded kind of hippie, but you know what I'm talking about. But with the Type F3, it wasn't like that at all. So that's why a lot of people are hesitant of buying it or not. So um, I'm just here to tell you my opinion on that. On that matter, I guess. I'd say 
if you are on a very, 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 very tight budget, then, like, super tight budget, then you probably can skip it. Probably. Or you should probably get it later on. But if you do have the money, or you have been saving up for something, because it's not that much at all. It's like $10 only. And right now, I just want to promote one of the bundles on IQ Mart. It's only available in Summer Sale right now, but... You can get a type, it's called a Type F first and third bundle. You can get a Type F3 and Type F1 for combined together only $1, only $1, $15. So the whole bundle is $15. You get a Type F3 and a Type F1. So basically, I'd say this cube is a pretty good pickup. It's definitely worth what you're paying for because what you're paying for is 10, 10 bucks. And this is an overall very good cube. It's just something, you know, I just feel like this is a good cube. You could use for competitions, tutorials, or like reviews, or you know, especially tutorials on like what, like if you have a YouTube account, you probably do tutorials once in a while, and this is a great cube for that. And this is just a great cube overall. It's definitely not revolutionary, like the Dian Guhong or the Dian Juncture. It's far from revolutionary, but it's on a new, it's a new take on what type of it's doing, and I guess it's okay. And overall, just really like this cube. It's just um, something new, you know, something new to the Cuban community, something new to Type F. I'm pretty sure they're um, new to this kind of design and this kind of feel for their for the cubes. But overall, I think this is just um, really worth your money, I guess. But it's just not as good as Dying Gu or Dying Janchur. So that's my video review on the Type F three cube. Hopefully, I this video was somewhat informative and. If you like cube reviews or you just want to um, tune in for more cube reviews, you can click the subscribe button above. And I'll check you guys out in the next video. Again, that sounds really wrong.